Hey everybody, welcome back to Bonus Points, where Paul is about to get straight tooken. We're in the mall. Bad shit is gonna happen. Uh, if you're not familiar with this part of the game, um, like, let's say hypothetically you're playing this for the first time, that's fine. Uh, this is one of the hardest parts of the game, in my opinion. Uh, the enemies are ridiculously hard right here. Um, what I had to do, um, basically I didn't give, you can level Paula stuff up, but that's pointless. That's just a waste of money. Um, really? Okay. Daryl, customer Daryl. Okay. There was nobody on that floor. All right. And okay. The gift boxes. That's what you got to watch out for. Those guys will kill you. <laughs> uh, the music is, uh, the best way just bash the fuck out of them that's all that's the best thing to do i mean uh the franklin badge is going to save you from that but unfortunately you only have one so benny's going to take some damage here but there you go in and out um it might <laughs> let's see here let's i have a t let's see I got let's give uh benny this picnic here i don't need benny dying on me right now i mean Oh, really? How did I sneak up on it? Alright, so... We snuck up on it, so that's good. I mean, that just that gives me a good four shots on it before it'll ever get to take a... Wow, that was lucky as I'll get out. Sweet! Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I'm having a weird day now because evidently there was no freaking... There was nothing in here. I had two fights. That never happened. It's usually like two enemies per floor and they're ridiculously overpowered. I mean, okay, not ridiculously overpowered. So you gotta fight this stupid looking trash monster thing. I have no friggin' idea what this is, but you gotta fight it. Uh, this is the, the department store spook. Uh, just freaking hit it with a bottle rocket. Uh, if you find the guy that sells bottle rockets, just buy a couple of them because you never know. And uh, buy a couple of teddy bears while you're at it before uh, Paula gets gets taken. Uh, there you go. See, simple as hell. Like, this very simple fight for everything that we just went to, went through. That was nuts. Um, like I said, normally, normally you have way more enemies to fight. Master Gagas will avenge me. Paula should be monotoly <laughs> dead. And we just walk back out and shit's back to normal. See? <laughs> Let's talk to this kid. Power supply game was cut off. I wasted my money. <laughs> that kid's pissed. Hey, let's get our picture taken. Okay. Fuzzy Pickles, man. Picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for a uh, memory. Pi cheese. <laughs> Fuzzy Pickles. <laughs> All right. Well, that was. I kind of thought I was gonna get a little more out of that. That was pretty simple. I'm kind of upset. Like I said, normally it's like you have two enemies per floor. Let's talk to this stupid lady. I want to get out of here because they suddenly shut the power of the store down and power goes out and blah. Okay, I don't care. She had nothing useful to say. I'm going out here. Eh. All right. Let's just leave. We gotta go to the next part of the game, which is like, you know, as soon as we walk outside, we're going straight to, uh, we're gonna go straight to the cafe. There's nothing else to really do. You have to go to the cafe because that's where, um, that's where the next part of the game takes place. Uh, this upcoming part will be, oh, excuse me. This upcoming part will be Moonside. Oh my goodness. The coffee is trying to make a comeback on me. Um, so get in here. I'm surprised you talk to an ordinary guy like me. I have no information or items to help you out. Do you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere. By the way, let me quiz you. There are five apples. If you eat one, how many apples are there left? Five minus one is four. So there's four left. Oh, uh, that's not funny. Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's made Electra is made to order. Hoo <laughs> hoo. 
God, that guy, I want to punch that dude in the face. What a douchebag. <laughs> I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz and I had to go to the bathroom real fast. When I got here, I accidentally knocked out the wall inside the restroom door. The next thing I knew, someone asked, who is it? It surprised me. Oh, he knocked on the wall. I'm sorry, he didn't knock out the wall. He used to be Monotola's employer. Then I realized the schemes made my company go bankrupt. My house and land were taken away. And now I'm homeless. Monotoli didn't used to be so powerful. I want to find out his secrets. So I'm spending time here watching to see if he'll come in. There's a loud noise outside. Must be the seventh inning stretch, and the fans are singing "Take Me Out to the Ball Game" at the stadium. You got this fucking number two looking guy, Geldegard Montoli. Come here often. Hello, time to get up. It could never happen. Blah blah blah. Okay, so we need to go outside. Uh, and there's our old pal. Uh. Uh, we gotta give, we gotta give this kid something before we can go talk to, uh, the guy from Berglund Park. Remember that, remember that guy? We fought him in like the beginning of the game. Uh, crap, I can't remember his name. Some guy, anyways, we'll just give this kid something stupid. Here we go. Wheeze, wheeze. Aren't you Daryl? I can't see too well. Remember, everything's blurry. You are Daryl, aren't you? It's me, meant to ever dread, that's right. From Berglund Park, you must remember me. I'm the best thief around. That car painter in Happy Village was hiding something. Wheeze, wheeze, strange. I stole it and thought about selling it in the city. An old wise man called it the Monty Monty. Strange looking doll. Oh man, I'm in pain. Molly totally tricked me and stole it from me. He, he tricked a thief. He wanted me out of the way because I know his secret. He gets his evil power from that statue. Listen. I'll tell you only once at the cafe, check behind the counter, gasp. I said I'd tell you once, but if you insist, I'll tell you once more, gasp, gasp. Do you want to hear it again? No, we're good, we know. Before I go, here's my last haiku poem. When you're on your way out, be sure you say goodbye, then lock the door tight. This is my final request. Don't follow me. <laughs> I must be on my way. <laughs> Whoa, so long. Ha! <laughs> Nothing was wrong. What a douche. <laughs> Anyways. He like scares a bunch of people on his way out. It's funny. All right. So, since this crowd of people gets the hell out of my way. All right. Move. Biatch. All right. So, uh, check behind the wall in here. And, uh, ah, come on. What's going on? I can't. Why can't I go behind here? What the fuck? Okay. What the hell? That was weird. Question marks. Okay. So that's what you, that's the, the sign that you need. And we are now in the upside down. There's a fire in here and a bunch of people. Talk to this guy. No, it, that's right. I'm the host here. <laughs> Fight a fire. Okay. The robo pumps, like you need to take these things out as quickly as possible. Cause I think they have like a very big attack once they hit their, uh, their murmur when they murmur one and two or three two one you kind of want to get rid of them before they hit zero i think i don't know what happens i've never had that happen to me so we'll just keep with the uh we'll keep on with the expectation that if you get to zero you know you're screwed all right so welcome to like where there's so much shit going on that it'll cause this game to just lag like hell um these guys right here are like warp points in the world. You have to talk to them, but we're going to go over here real quick because uh, we have to talk to somebody first before we start warping all around. And I'm pretty sure it's down here. Okay. Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay, let's fight this enraged fire plug. Oh, no, not Teddy. Teddy down, Teddy down. Oh shit, another Teddy down. Dude, these things will just take out your teddies, but it's a good thing you have the teddies, man, I'm telling you. If I could just have like, I'm telling you, I, I think I said it last time, if I could just have a backpack full of teddy bears in this game, where it's like, you have an extra backpack, what would you like to put in here? I was like, teddy bears. Just shitloads of teddy bears. I feel like I should use teddy bears more than I do. I never, I hardly use teddy bears. I think this playthrough with you guys, I'm gonna just use a shit ton of teddy bears. Everybody gets one teddy. Everybody gets one. 
Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of. It's kind of a big, a big attack, but we got him. And Benny, Benny poor Benny, he's about dead. Hooray, he leveled up. We did it. Anyways, we gotta find this guy. He's he when you talk to him, he talks about a uh like a dude with uh a monobrow and a gold tooth. But I know it's around here somewhere. I just I wanna avoid all these fights because we still have to fight the Mani Mani at the end of this thing and like I don't wanna Hey double burger. And I don't want to uh just like waste all my time fighting stupid shit like this dolly clock uh dolly clocks are pain in the ass because they do this right here they stop time and just beat the shit out of you and then it's a good see man teddies man teddy bears they're they're the best this is a nice place i mean if you're here go ahead and do some fighting level up a little bit i just like, yeah, okay, here it is. Yeah, we were no to run. You douchebag. Try to sneak up on me. Freaking enraged fire plug, which is the weirdest name for an enemy. <laughs> Dude, Teddy. Teddy's taking so much mortal damage in this game. Pretty sure somebody's gonna. Yeah, this guy right here. We got to talk to him. Monty Monty stashes up ahead, but I'm gonna stop you right here. Don't even think about getting past me. Because you aren't the guy whose eyebrows are connected and a gold tooth. Alright, so we have to find this dude with. Uh, let's fight this dolly clock. We have to find a dude with a freaking monobrow and a gold tooth, which is the goofiest looking thing I can think of. That dude has to look stupid. I'm just saying. Try to disperse this thing pretty quick because I don't want to have to fight it anymore than I have to. I don't want to have to fight it anymore than I have to. Because the more the more we fight, the better chances we have of getting the shit beat out of us and just losing PP points. Well, P points. PP. We'll just lose we're gonna lose our PP. And I don't want to lose my PP. Just not be a, a good thing. Anyway, how's everybody's day? I ha I don't think I've asked that. How? Uh, uh, my life got flipped, turned upside down. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Like, I I know some of you that watch this have. Did I? Fuck. Are you fucking serious? The thing just teleported me like ten feet. Seriously? I know it's like. I'm pretty sure it's this dude right here. Hello and goodbye. You gotta. What the fuck? Damn it! Son of a bitch. Okay, so all right, guys, we're about. I'm about to wrap it up here. I'm gonna fight this stupid ass clock, and then I'm gonna have to. I know you have to talk. I thought it was that guy. You have to talk to him. They have to send you to like two different places before you meet up with the guy that has a mono brow and a gold tooth. And I don't understand. Like, we just have to. Oh, okay, I'm gonna fight this painting guys next time on bonus points Like I don't know. I I'm gonna try to get past this Because uh, I think this area is just gonna give me a shitload of trouble. So Next time on bonus points we will be past this or still on it or I'll be at the money money statue It just depends on where I tr where I decide to start recording again. So uh, until next time guys later